find out again, as befits a scandal about sprinters, police officers and sponsors have moved swiftly. Italian police raided the hotel where two of the world's leading runners, Asafa Powell and Sharon Simpson, both Jamaicans, were staying. They had tested positive for a banned stimulant on Sunday. And the global sportswear company Adidas has suspended its sponsorship of the American sprinter Tyson Gay after he had a first positive test test for doping. In a moment, one of the U.S.'s most respected voices in athletics coaching, but first a flavour of Tyson Gay and Asifa Pal in happier times. The showdown, Tyson Gay of the USA, Asifa Pal of Jamaica, the world 100 metre final. They get away first time and Powell just gets half a yard on Tyson Gay. Marlon Dennis with some work to do and it's Powell with half a yard but here comes Gay. Tyson Gay trying to get on terms and Atkins is there. It's going to be Gay. Gay's going to win this from Atkins and Powell. Well, that was, as I say, happier times because Tyson Gay and Asava Powell are both, as I explained, being caught up in this new doping scandal. Let's go to Kingston, Jamaica and Abka Fitzhenley, who's news reporter for Nationwide Radio. Uh, Abka Fitzhenley, welcome to News Hour. Uh, I presume the reaction in Jamaica is one of dismay. Thank you so much. Very good evening to the people across the United Kingdom. Well, it's absolute shock and dismay, as you say. The fact is, Asafa Powell is not a normal sprinter. He is one of Jamaica's most decorated sprinters. Before Usain Bolt, he was regarded as having put Jamaica back on the map, so to speak, in terms of dominance regarding world sprinting. So it's absolute shock and devastation. Powell has put out a statement to the media immediately after the media in the UK broke news that he has tested positive for a banned stimulant, proclaiming his innocence, saying he will come out a stronger and wiser athlete and at no time did he knowingly take performance-enhancing drugs. The feeling here in Jamaica is that Jamaicans, they believe Asafa Powell. They believe in the integrity of the athlete and they are really waiting to hear what really transpired. The feeling, so in Kingston, Jamaica, is what really went wrong. Who tricked Asafa Powell? That's what Jamaicans are saying. Well, that's maybe what they're saying, maybe what they're hoping. Mm. But the reality is also that Asafa Powell is the latest in a whole batch of Jamaican sprinters who uh, appear to have been caught. And that's a reality that Jamaicans have to face. The fact is, sprinting, Jamaica regards itself as really the sprinting capital of the world, further to our success in the recent Olympics, the recent World Championships. So there's also the concern emanating from Kingston and across Jamaica, how the world will take this. The fact is, five of our athletes have tested positive for drugs. And what's being reported in the international media is really betraying that fact that these athletes, these sprinters, Asafa Powell, one of the most decorated, has joined a group of professionals who have been found to not play by the rules. And really there's shock and devastation. And the hope is there are calls coming for the government of Jamaica, persons in the sporting fraternity, to take steps to publicized to the international media that something really went wrong with Asafa Powell and he is not really another in the long line of persons who have found to have been attempting to cheat the sport. Abka Fitzhenley in Kingston, Jamaica, thanks very much for joining us. Absolutely. All the athletes involved in this. Thank you very much for that, much appreciated.